Hello everybody, it's Sandy and this is Holy Saturday of Holy Week series from 2020 and I'm going to be working in a different Bible today than usual but I wanted to share a little from the PDF before getting started. So now we say with an entirely different meaning, let his blood be on us, not defiantly as the crowds that crucified him, but desperately with gratitude and hope and adoration as those who depend wholly on his sacrifice. Jesus, let your blood be on us. Let it cover us. Let the blood that flows from your head, your hands, your feet, wash over and cleanse us of all our iniquity. We proclaim Jesus' death. We rejoice in his death, not because we believe he was a fraud or a lunatic, but because it is by his death, by his wounds, by his blood that we are healed. And you could illustrate a page like this in a bunch of different places. I'm going to turn to Matthew 27 in the Illustrating Bible and do it in colored pencil. Now, this particular Bible has a wider column, which is nice. It has a different paper than most Bibles, so it works great with colored pencils. It doesn't work very well at all with watercolor, which is one of the reasons I don't use it very often. The other reason is the text is in order to, to squish it in there and not have it be too big of a Bible, they used a font that I can barely read because it's really, really cramped. <laughs> so they, that's just one of my issues with it. But it's not a study Bible for me. It's it's a Bible to draw in. So there you go. I've got my sketch down of my drop of blood, and then I just picked out a bunch of random reds. No real rhyme or reason to it. And I started by taking these two highlights, the cross and the kind of crescent-shaped highlight on the bottom, and putting a little bit of pink in them just so that they'll be there and I can start working on all the other colors. The highlights I wanted to be strong but not too strong, and I didn't know how strong I was going to need them to be by the time this was all said and done. So I started by filling everything in first with a red color, kind of a warm red, almost an orangey red. And then I wanted to use blending solution with it because this paper works really well with that. And I chose to use baby oil. So if you have some baby oil, you can do this. I put mine in a little container with a cotton ball in it. And that way I'm not dipping my blending stump all the way into the fluid. I'm just tapping it onto the cotton ball and it's not super soaky wet. And if you haven't used a blending stump before. I do have a video over on my other channel that shows you how to make one. If we are in quarantine season right now and you can't get to an art supply store to get one, they're real cheap, but if you can't get one, you can always make one out of a piece of copier paper. So now I'm going to add some other reds to the drop, and I want to kind of make a, a darker color surrounding my highlights because I had an idea for how I could blend all that in. I didn't want this big screaming white cross and white crescent on here. But I started just creating some shapes with different reds in them. So it kind of blends from one red into another, more of a darker red into a medium red, and just creating some different shapes all around the whole thing. And then I can go in and add more blending solution. Now one of the cool things about the blending solution and blending stumps is once you put down one layer of the blending solution, then the next layer starts looking more and more intense. So if you want really strong color, get your first layer down and then when you add the others, they just get more intense. And look what happened when I decided to just blend those edges of the highlight. It just really worked great. I did go outside the lines and had to fix that edge a little bit. But look how this color is just pulling in from the other color that's already on the drop. And then it sort of acts more like, I don't know, just a, a more subtle highlight than a big glaring one, which it had been. But then I felt like I needed to add more color around it just to make sure that the cross was clearly visible nonetheless. So you can go back and forth and add more color, add more blending and more of the baby oil blending solution that sort of thing. But this came out really nice. I really liked the just the whole way all of that worked. And look, there's nothing that went through. 
And on Bible paper, sometimes you'll get a little bit of that oiliness coming through. So be aware of that. Test it out on the Bible paper that you have. And don't let any of the fluid, the solution, outside of the color. Because if it sits on top of that colored pencil, then often that acts as a barrier to any of that oil getting through to the back side of the paper. So my page has plenty of room for me to add more journaling, a little personal prayer on the page. And that is it for today. I have one more day left in the Holy Week series tomorrow, of course, Resurrection Sunday. So I will see you back here in the morning. Be blessed. Have a wonderful weekend with your families preparing for Easter.